Hey everyone, Micah here with Nesher, and today we're going to talk about how to replace a hydraulic ram on your electric loader. Now this might be necessary if, for example, you've somehow damaged your ram, maybe you dropped something on it and you boogered up the piston. These are work machines and stuff happens. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to replace a ram, this is how you do it. Now these are electric vehicles, and while the electrical system is certainly different than the diesel engine on a traditional tractor, the hydraulic system is basically identical to that in any other large piece of equipment. So if you've worked on the hydraulics in a tractor or a loader or a forklift, or a man lift or, or anything like that, you'll already be quite familiar with how these hydraulics work. And if you have not worked on something like that before, then you're about to see how simple this really is. The reason we make sure these machines are simple to maintain is because Nesher electric loaders like the Nesher L880 here are not just designed to be easy to use, they're designed to be easy to work on. You do not need to be an experienced mechanic to perform basic maintenance or most of the other work on these machines. We're constantly rolling out more technical guides and how-to videos, like today's video showing how you would swap out a hydraulic cylinder. These steps here will apply to all the different hydraulic rams on the machine, but we'll be performing the work on the main bucket curling ram. To start, make sure the machine's boom is lowered all the way down to the ground and the machine is turned off. Next, loosen the banjo bolts on the hydraulic fittings where the hoses enter the ram. On the L880 here, this requires a 27mm wrench, which is included in the wrench set that we provide with the Nesher L880 loader. Be careful not to drop or lose the washers in the grass as the bolt comes out because they may be hard to spot. Ask us how we know. With the hydraulic lines removed, now you can remove the bolt holding the pin into each end of the hydraulic cylinder using the 13mm wrench included in the Nesher wrench set. Then you can support the body of the cylinder while you remove the pin. It helps to have a second set of hands for this step. If one of the two pins is tight, it can help to use a drift on the flat end of the pin to knock it back out until you can pull it by hand. With both of the pins removed, the hydraulic cylinder is now free of the machine and can be removed to be repaired or replaced. To reinstall, just repeat the steps in reverse. Slide the pins in and bolt them into place, being sure to put back the spacer washer on the pin as well. Once both pins are in, the banjo bolts can be reinserted and tightened down to connect the hydraulic hoses to the ram. Do not overly tighten these banjo bolts to avoid damaging the brass threads. Once the hoses are installed, the ram is ready to use. You can power up the loader and cycle the ram several times so that the machine can bleed it. And there you go! So that's all there is to replacing a hydraulic ram on one of these machines. As you can see, it's very simple. You do not need any specialized tools. A basic wrench set will work. Those are included with the loader, of course. And you don't need uh, a lot of people. One person can do this job, though it is helpful to have a second to help lift that ram out. If you want to learn more about these electric loaders, you can find them online at neshareequipment.com. And who knows, maybe there will be a Neshare electric loader headed your way soon.